oh, I'm so hot. <laughs> <laughs> have you told everyone you have no air conditioning? I'm not sure. No, a, we talked no, about it pre-show. I felt like talking about it during the show would make me fixate on it more. But like now, mm, two hours how hot and 40 is it, minutes. Taylor? In, it is. I'm easily in triple digits in my office right now. Triple, um, 100 degrees. Maybe you should have a coffee. Is it 100 it? plus. Yeah, dude, I'm I'm drinking so many waters so fast. I'm like, please, Kyle, come back. I need to refill my ice again and get some more water. <laughs> I'm so fucking hot. Yeah, it went out Tuesday or Monday late. Like, Didn't you too ask late the boss for an ice water? Just send her a text. Is that like I not should, how I you... I, I'm not sure. She was out uh, with, with family. I'm not sure if she's home yet. But um, oh, okay. Yeah, it's it went out like too late Monday to do anything about it. And then Tuesday got someone to agree to come out yesterday. And I was like hoping the whole time that like it wasn't going to be a huge thing because like the guy went like I even thought I was like, I'm not even going to check my filter that got changed like four months ago. Like, what? Right. I'm not even going to do that. And the guy came in and the first thing he does is like check the filter. And he's like, oh, this you know, this could be it right here. Look at how dirty this is. And I'm like, the guy who. The last guy had like where there's the issue with the heating, like he just on the side, different issue was like, you want to change these every like six months to a year. And apparently mm -hmm. over like the four or five months it's been in there, it's accumulated like well over a year's worth of bullshit on it. Is and it so, low? What do you mean low? The filter, like I find that if a filter's mounted towards the top of the wall, you don't need to change it very often. But if it's down by your shins, you need to change it frequently. Yeah, yeah, it's down by the shins, so that mm -hmm. that could be it. But he then like we we replaced the filter, and he told me that it's actually the motor that blew out. And I asked him like, what would cause that? And he's like, well, actually, because like the area I'm in, he's like, you're, you know, lower or on on a certain side of this road, and that means a different uh, electrical grid. And unfortunately, the grid you're on is not as reliable as that other one, and so you get more surges. And so apparently, a shit ton of people in my area without uh surge protectors on their motors just had them blown out and so you're gonna then, get dodged uh, now they're gonna figure it would they now they know you're lower than a road <laughs> now they know i'm lower than a road <laughs> you're Fuck! <fucked. laughs> Fuck! <laughs> yeah and so like that sucks and because so many people with this same kind of heater or ac i guess they all need the same train motor. And so this mm. company said, he's like, I, cause initially when I was talking to him, he was like, you know, like this has been happening a lot, but we have a lot of these. It's, we see you, Kyle. He's like, and even I know I'm like train, like that's a huge company. They're going to have that shit. They're the one. And he was like, ah, they're not, we ordered them probably in Tuesday. And so I've got until Tuesday to deal with this. It is, I am so sweat. I switched to a black shirt for the show because I'm sweating through fucking Dude, everything. I have that brand. It's so awesome. It's, it's one of my brand. most flattering shirts. I like them. I'm in the I'm in their double X. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm sweating through it like nobody's business. It is it is brutal in here right now. It's got to be over outside in the coolest area of my upstairs, my living room. The thermostat says 87 right now, and it is markedly hotter in here. Was that Kyle exhaling frustratedly? I have his audio, but his video is frozen, so Kyle, he might you hear think us? we have no audio. No, 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 no. He may have left thinking it didn't work as well as it did. Maybe I would take audio, Kyle. Yeah, we should get audio only, Kyle. But anyway, this is miserable. I am running off like 10 hours of sleep the last three nights combined. Every, I'm waking up. I'm doing that dance where I get so I go to bed super hot. You know, but I need a little bit of blanket on there. And so then I wake up and I'm soaked in sweat. So I take the blanket off and then I lay there and I get like a chill, like I'm getting sick because I got a box fan just blowing on my sweaty body. And then I wake up, put the blanket back on. I'm sweating through my shirt. I, I, I bet I drank two gallons of water today, probably almost a gallon just on this show. Like, and mm. I'm sweating all of it out. I'm, I've peed twice in the last five hours. I bet I've drank two gallons of water. This is, I heard Kyle giggle at my, my horror. <laughs> no, no, you're good, Zach. You're solid. Uh, yeah, this is this is rough. You really take AC for granted, man. I uh, I, I was you you talking about leaving a place in in somewhat disarray made me think. A couple buddies of mine, probably starting about six years ago, up until about three years ago, they lived together for like three years. My age, they were roommates, and they had the filthiest fucking disgust. Like, have you ever seen those apartments where everyone's walked in so many times through the same paths without taking their shoes on that, like, the carpet becomes almost a weird composite of yeah. dirt and mush? Like, it was that 
all around their entire apartment. Like it got to the point by the end where like they would joke when we, like they'd be like, you want to, anyone want to come over? We'll like go to a bar and then we'll watch the game. And I'm like, I'm not coming to your place. It's gross. <laughs> come to my house. <laughs> it's clean. Like it smells <laughs> like candles. And they were uh, they had an outdoor uh, porch, just a small wooden porch there on the second floor. And on the porch, there was a door for a closet for like if you wanted a grill or something or to keep your charcoal out there, just whatever you put it in the, uh, the outdoor closet. And apparently they were getting a little lit day drinking one day. Both of them. I wasn't there. And uh, another buddy of mine who is you know he he was the marine very very prepared for things and they were all getting drunk and everything and my buddy was grilling out there and apparently he was too drunk to see if the coals actually went out after he removed the coals and so he took the coals out put them back in the coal bag put it in the closet and then oh, closed no. the door the outdoor closet and <laughs> the way my buddy <laughs> My, my buddy shout out tim he was like and we were just sitting in there and he's like and he wasn't nearly as he's like i wasn't nearly as fucked up i'd had like one beer or something and they were all just blackout almost and i just started smelling smoke in there you know, <laughs> the hell like what's going on and so i walked around their whole apartment trying to see what it was i look out their window black smoke all over their their porch and i'm like fuck so what'd you do and he's like i immediately went there's a fire and and he was like and i realized like in that state, none of our friends knew what to do at all. And so I mm. went out there, opened up the door. They followed me out and I went, it's so in it. He says the, this guy's, he's about five, nine. He says the flames were taller than me. He said the entire <laughs> closet was a flame to where like when he put his hand on it before he opened, like it burned, like he had to pull it off open oh. immediately. It tried, it Didn't like surged he out. Draft? the movie he, i guess probably he was not. just he's trying to no, probably not and yeah, he not was 40. like he was like uh, and, and my buddies apparently not him were just standing there like dumbstruck just staring at it and he had to like orchestrate it and be like alex bulls biggest bull you have water now matt second biggest bull you have water go steve grab it go you hand the but Alex, you fill it up. You hand it to Matt. Matt, all you do is drive it to me. Like, Steve, you go out there, like, open up this door, like, air it out. Like, and he said it took, like, a full 20 minutes of firefighting. And uh -huh. the entire, like, they, apparently, <laughs> they were, like, very close to just hitting 911 because they were worried it was going to burn the apartment complex down. But they got it under control. And apparently, when they moved out, they did not check the status of that outdoor closet because they got their their deposit back despite their their entire apartment being shit housed like it was it was collapsing like borderline collapsing onto the patio so yours is not looking that bad compared to my retard friends who who lit their patio on fire oh i just remembered i had a gummy i'm starting to get <laughs> i'm oh, like what is yeah. happening here i, oh, I, I hope it's lag <laughs> I forgot all about the gummy. Feel, like it is feeling come. <laughs> just know you ate more than we wanted you to. What? I thought I I thought I, I smashed these instructions. Be fine, but, oh. I felt like you ate where the dick was. Maybe I did. It just seemed like so little. Pretty, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. Nah. Hmm. I know. That's it's hard to illustrate that point effectively enough because you look at it and you're like, no way. Right. No way. Yeah. But I, I'm telling you, I ate three of them when I first got them, and it was such a nightmare. <sighs> Am I lagging? Tell me I'm not lagging. It, One, uh, two, your audio three. seems Did fine. that work? Yeah. Well, I, so your audio is a little Am behind I in sync? Mind, That's workable. Like one, two, no. three. No. Actually, just okay. then you were, and now you're frozen. So you effectively don't have a... Your camera's freezing and your audio is working mostly. Wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> I'm really hoping it's a thunderstorm. I'm going to try a, a completely different ISP tomorrow. I'm going to uh, call someone else and get some quotes from them and maybe just sidestep this whole thing. So do you live in a neighborhood with lots of houses? Yeah. As opposed to a field. Shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. 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 Huh? Well, maybe maybe the will be competition. If you live in a field, as you probably know, like <laughs> there was one person willing to go out there. That's it, typically. Yeah. I did bet. Um, I unloaded the motorcycle today and I went backwards this time because the ramp was a lot steeper. And, uh -huh. and it went pretty smoothly. That wasn't a big deal, I guess. 
I don't know what I thought was going to happen, but it, it seemed intimidating to do it the first so, time. Every time you never drop the bike. No. Oh, that's great. That's great. No, I haven't have dropped the bike since that first day. <laughs> You've only fell once ever. Yeah. Yeah. That was terrifying. <laughs> Those are rookie numbers, Kyle. You got to pop I, up those doors. See, <laughs> see, you're pushing. See, you're pushing the limit. You're taking it to the limit. You're walking the <laughs> razor's edge over there. All right, I'm cruising down the highway and taking it easy. I, <laughs> oh, poor Taylor. <laughs> poor Taylor. I bet that feels amazing. It feels so good. <laughs> can you imagine? So it, can, can you imagine how good it would feel if you get like a whole one up your ass, like like getting oh. inside the part where it was going in? I wouldn't oh, yeah. care imagine if it was. Imagine that. I, mean, I have I, no idea what yeah. it's like to put a can up my ass. I, I would not care if it was barbed. Like I would, <laughs> <laughs> I would sit on it. It is. It's and, I, and if I hold this to my head any longer, they're going to be too hot to drink. Taylor, mm. while you left, the you the know what you could do is an ice water in <laughs> <laughs> that your gummy kicked in while I left. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say because, like, as yeah. you were leaving, Kyle, I, I was like, like, "Oh my god, if I lag out, I was like, if me. I lag out, it's just high, Woody." <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, funny. Yeah, I was as you were gone, Kyle. I was thinking, like, "Oh no, that's gonna kick in soon, and it might make him quiet." But also, I was thinking, like, when you're in show mode, when you're in talk mode with weed, like, it, it's gonna get depressed some. And so I was like, I think. At, it's going to be after the show when Woody's mellowed out that he's like, oh, OK, now that I'm not like on guard, like performing, mm -hmm. it's going to going to sink in and, and you'll relax. But how, how's that amount treating you? How are you doing? Yeah, it's more than I expected because I had the ones that I had taken before were 35s. So I would mm -hmm. eat a quarter of it or sometimes even a half. By this math, what did I eat? Like 15? So put it so much more than like the quarter of 35 which is, i guess yeah. 12 I, you knows. you ate shins down like you, you, didn't, <laughs> you, you didn't just go feet you ate a little uh well, yeah probably i would get zach that's probably right he ate about a fifth of it probably 20 milligrams not not anything yeah, crazy that's what i thought as well i thought i thought you ate like not only the little the little feet little nubs there but i thought maybe you got it some of where the dick would have normally been if you know it was an anatomically correct gummy bear which you have to pay extra for for some reason hey tell them that taylor tell them we'd like some some gummy dicks like, i mean i, do, I like, bet they PK. can do it Let but it shouldn't be just you know, more gummy i want it to be a little jewel of some sort <laughs> a little, <laughs> little drop of sugar right there i think they taste good i like that I like I'm not all saying that it was I actually the watermelon tastes good anyway. It's the only one I've tried, but uh, um, uh, just to, I'm, I'm really the, <laughs> the the way this dick works. It should be like a shiny piece of sugar. It's not that they don't taste good. It's that the uh, it's decorative. I believe you believe that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want you to feel safe and comforted having those thoughts. Yes. <laughs> and loved. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <You're not. laughs> Taylor, I feel so sorry you. for you, man. It's a little hot here. Um, I've had the air conditioner all, all, on all day on 65 degrees. And uh, it's 67 in here. So it's but outside, it's so fuck. The inside humidity is fifty percent. Outside, I think it's a hundred percent. So I think humid. it's just. I think it's just water out there. I think it's it's so goddamn humid here. It rained every day of my move, and then it would stop, and the sun would bake the rain, so yeah. you couldn't even sweat anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it was so. It was so disgusting. Humidity sucks. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This is this is horrible. I cannot wait until I have AC again. Just I you realize you. what a bitch we are, like with all of our modern technology. Like, if I didn't, if I had to go the rest of my life without AC, like I, I'd have to move to like Edmonton or something. Like I'd yeah. have to live there. I would because this is it, it sucks. If, if someone snapped their fingers and made air conditioning go away, I, I agree with you. I would move to a climate that like had you know in the summers that it was sixty five degrees or seventy degrees, and the winters were brutal. Or I'd just be a snowbird, like 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 make that work somehow. I don't want to be seen, disgusting uh, all the time. No, no one does. You, in in the humidity, like <laughs> your eyebrows, you look like Nicholson for a split second. <laughs> you did like the Nicholson wrinkly eyebrow thing. 
It's getting pretty high. <laughs> <laughs> no, how, how do you do Nick? What does Jack Nicholson sound like? Do a Jack Nicholson real quick, Kyle. Honey, darling, light of my life. <laughs> That's where it I'm is. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm going to bash your brains in. I love that scene. I, I I'm it not going to hurt you. I'm going to bash your brains in. I'm going to so bash expressive. Your... Like the, Is that like the Randy Savage Macho, Macho Nicholson? That, no, yeah, that would. That's... I'm writing a book in this place, and it's going to be the <laughs> all work and no play makes Johnny a dull boy. boy. <laughs> that would that would be yeah, a better. Yeah, if move. anybody wants to see a, if if anyone's ne not going to see The Shining for some reason, just uh, search on YouTube for uh, The Shining staircase scene, and uh, that's that might be my favorite scene from the movie because. Cause he's backing her up the the staircase and she's swinging that bat and she's just terrified of him. Stay back, stay back. <laughs> and he is not afraid. And he's just telling her he's gonna murder her as he takes these like maniacal steps up the uh, and making like jazz hands. Yeah, <laughs> making these crazy expressions and like just trying to spook her and terrorize her as much as he can because he's crazed. Love that scene. That's I'm, one. I'm just I think keep that doing. is my favorite movie. That is a great film. I like it a lot. I wish I need to watch some of Jack Nicholson. You okay? There with Death you. by you gummy know. shit hits different. If that was twenty million, <laughs> why is this the highest I've ever been? <laughs> it's real deal. See, we're not fooling folks. It's good for people. It's good for people at home that they saw this. Start very. This shit small is like amounts. truth serum too. Like, like, like. <laughs> this gets you lit. Yeah, it's high quality stuff. Code PKA twenty for twenty percent off, folks. Speaking of, or well, not speaking of this, uh, is there? So all of the all my monitors, the color is dimming, and my computer sounds like it's about to take off, like my <laughs> PC. That can't it's be good, it's right? Warm. Yeah, it's, it's. I just I touch the side of it. Hot, 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 hot to the touch. Uh, is that gonna fuck up my PC long term? We've only got fourteen more minutes, so hopefully no, it doesn't. No, not long term. I would. Okay, okay it's fine. Do you have any ice water <laughs> such a that you could? No, no, I, I don't have ice water. That you, I you've heard of water cooled from. PCs before, right? So you, you just you want to you pour that over the, uh. Uh, the GPU and it'll it'll cool things right down. <laughs> okay, I'll give that. Yeah. A go. If you anybody know that, who's listening, hose. <laughs> a hose works good, but but you know if you just got a little <laughs> squirt bottle or uh, or anything, anybody who's listening, you ever have those overheating? I mean, everybody's heard of water cooled PCs. You just do it. People don't want to do I it. I have heard of it. I don't have one though. But this, this is the loudest the I've heard this. Damage their PC. I'm surprised it's not coming through the fucking. Yeah, well, I mean, this shit is I mean, of hot. course, if you get the water on any electrical components, that would be catastrophic. But but if you, you the water will be great for cooling everything down. Okay, I'll give that a go, and then next week I'll be doing the show from a <laughs> from a <Yeah>. laptop. <laughs> uh, makes perfect sense. I, this shit. Just, Tarkov oh, white. <laughs> Tarkov white today. I think. It's so hot. Maybe, maybe yesterday. <laughs> it's so this is Man, this gonna, is physically you know, the least comfortable I've ever been in a show. This is I've I've been trying to be a good sport. I'm so <laughs> hot. I'm so sweaty. I'm so hot. It's it's well over 100 degrees. You sweated through that shirt. You sweated through that shirt two fucking hours ago. It is not a black shirt. It is <laughs> it, it is wet. I could wring <laughs> this out afterward. I'm out of ice in my ice Taylor, machine. Taylor, Taylor, let's do, do a so bit. Much. Let's do a bit. So, so go, go change shirts, but bring that shirt back and wring it out into a glass. No, I'm embarrassed. Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, all no, right, it's fine. Gross. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Your gross. underwear then. Oh yeah, yeah, dude, that would be disgusting. Like. I'm I'm sitting in ball soup right now. My have you ever been so sweaty that your calves are just dripping? Like you're oh like just, in, in, a, in a sitting in a like obviously like, when you've when you've played sports, like you get that sweaty, <laughs> but I've never in a solitary you know static position gotten this sweaty ever. And it, so it's worse sorry. than outside because there's because my motor's out, there's no airflow, it's so thick in here. It's so it's so yeah. I could grab the air. It's so fucking thick. <laughs> oh man. 
Come on, eleven and a half minutes. Come on. <laughs> I love this. So, so you've got we've got me with my internet fucking killing me. Woody's high as fuck, and, <laughs> and 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 you and you just drenched in sweat. I really like this show. This has been a great oh. show. I, I wish that I hadn't had those interruptions because I've had just a blast, and I, I I've enjoyed Matt. Um, I, I hate, yeah, hate that great. you're in, you know, insufferable down there, or not insufferable. If you're that you're uh, suffering down there, <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're a little insufferable. I yeah, yeah, yeah. I would just forget the debate part. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but no, I, and I like that Woody got high as fuck because he ate the dick. I I, I watched yeah, him eat the I dick, did. and I was like, ah. I still. Have oh, can I can I see it? Can I see the? Um, Let me see. I need I need evidence. I bet it maybe it was even almost a third of it the eight, which would be like I don't think so. I remember or being maybe, a, maybe less. So much less. Taylor, how much money would I have to pay you to crawl into a sleeping bag right now and sleep until eight AM? Oh I, dude, I'd pass away. Like I'd <laughs> I, 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 I'd I'd die. I think I'd actually and, die and, if I got into a sleeping bag and slept. And you can, and, and all you can have to drink for the rest of the night is is chili juice. Like like from a chili, bowl of chili. Chili juice. <laughs> Like you strain oh. the bowl of chili and it's that juice. It's hot. It's hot. Yeah. Ooh, I you make can have unlimited drinks, too. chili juice, and like, and uh, and high alcohol British warm beer. You can you can have that. The worst possible thing. Ooh, so, a hot beer. Okay. There's the one I ate versus a brand new one. Okay, so that's yeah, we were right about twenty percent of it, about a fifth of it. Yeah, that maybe yeah, even mean, less wrong. than that. Be careful, folks. Here's the other thing. And another thing, Woody ridiculous. is <laughs> it's a different chemical. It's a different chemical as well. So um, I don't know. Maybe it's stronger than weed. I think it's stronger uh, than weed. I mean, maybe these, I'm wrong. These I don't know. Specifically, these hundred milligram oh. edibles feel like a fucking weed edible. Like they're so correctly dosed. I think people have like thought Delta Eight was way yeah. weaker than it was for a long time because so many companies were like, "Oh, this is a fifty milligram edible," and it really had like fucking seven in there. So you I, can convince I, I yourself. I may be over solid yeah. theory. I, I may be overstating it to say that it's stronger than weed. I, I really don't know. It's hard to put Very a good strong. grasp on it because I, I haven't eaten any like real weed in so long. It's been since last October. Woody, but you've you it's strong. You got to have. A, or I'm sorry, Kyle. What what show would you recommend yeah. Woody to watch after the the after PK tonight. Oh. Because he's higher Dance. than he's ever been. Bugs Life. A Bugs Life? Yeah. You think that'll be good stoned out of your mind? Yeah. Of course it doesn't will. Doesn't stress you out thinking about what if the crickets win? Or the grasshoppers no. win? No, I'm pretty sure that the ants are going to, or whoever, that I've never really seen that movie. I just assumed that. I didn't know it was so <laughs> so confrontational. I, you I you've never Ants seen The Bugs Life? No, I'm not really into the Pixar stuff. I think I was a little oh. bit too old to like even appreciate Toy Story. Like I watched it and I know it's a good movie, and I, but like I don't, I'm not all caught up on it. Like I don't know, everyone seems to be. Oh, like it was. A, I think it was, was a big gonna, part of a lot of people's childhoods. Childhood for sure. Yeah, Toy Story and A Bug's Life. I remember explicitly the first time I saw those. I remember. I was, uh, Bugs Life was in theaters and I was with my mom and my grandma and my brother. And we got up to the booth before it sold out. We were like in the line out into the parking lot, like waiting for like opening night Bugs Life and we didn't get in. And I was like, at just absolutely d despondent, just d depressed over not being able to watch a Bugs Life. But I got to watch it. So it all worked out. And it is a good movie. I thought you were going to recommend that he watches something nature related, like, like oh. deep. Is, is there a nature one called like Deep Blue or Blue Sea that, where there's a bunch of uh, like cool video of whales? Maybe I'm I'm getting the name wrong. I'm sure, but there's a couple of really cool ocean documentaries. Maybe, I mean, there's the Planet for. Earth stuff. There's the Planet Earth stuff. That's always really good. Yeah. Oh, but, Planet um, Earth too. Watch that. Planet Earth two is great. That's it. High or sober. I uh, I love the, the 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 snake chase scene where the snakes are chasing <laughs> yeah. the iguana. And he's like running up the, the rocks and at like, he must not slip or he will die. And yeah. like all and there's like a hundred snakes chasing it like aggressively. Mm -hmm. And he's just like winging. And they're like clipping onto his ankles and trying to pull him down. And he's like, ah, ah. <laughs> like That's such a cool clip. I love it. He's like, Get that clip me. is so that that was like the clip they used to advertise Planet Earth Two, like on TV, and it it's so perfect it looks made up. It looks made like up. it looks like it looks like they're on a closed set with a bunch of snakes because of how like perfect the cinema. Or something like as I was watching it, I'm like, 
God, they have, they like anticipated the chase scene with all these camera placements. Like how the fuck did they do? And then of, of course they just had so many fucking cameras around there that of course they're going to pick it up out of gas. And there was, I remember there was one like Mongolian herd of elk or something. It was like, it is the rarest elk in existence. And it was like, they spent like eight months camped out in Mongolia trying to get a shot of this elk. And I'm like, I don't know. It just doesn't even look that fancy. You could have spray painted some white on a regular elk yeah. and saved your trouble. <laughs> saved a huge amount of money. Have you, you ever you quickly have a dead elk? Have you ever seen an elk like NRL? Yeah. Yeah, I have. They're pretty cool. Pretty regal. They're fucking gargantuan. Dude, mm -hmm. here's what I want to do. Here's what I want to do. An actual trip. Maybe not this year, but maybe next year, right? Let's go kill something with bows. Let's go into the forest with, be with fine. bows and let's kill something big. I'm, I want to kill either a bear, an elk, or a moose. I'll accept no substitutes. A pig won't do. A de I've, killed, I've killed slews of pigs, piles of deer. It doesn't get my – can't get my rocks off like that. Yeah. Okay? I got to kill something. Like, I, it has to be able to kill me back. Okay? Game. I would – not maybe a mountain lion, but I'm actually afraid of them. I'm afraid of mountain lions, so I'd like to avoid like mm -hmm. them if possible. I'd vote moose of those options because it's yeah. the biggest. Yeah, it is moose, the biggest. that that is an animal. That, like the first time you see a moose in real life, like you imagine that it's like a deer, like before you've seen one, or like it's a slightly larger deer. Like you see a moose, and it's like, oh, this like makes Clydesdales look like little babies. You know like what that's how big they true? are. They're so what if, fucking right. big. What if what if we team shot a moose with bows? That would be like, fun. I've never even to... seen, I've never seen that. See, see, this is why I'm the one to be, you want on board with the project. Yeah, like you're the idea okay. man. You've yeah. never seen a hunting video where they did something that was like. See, that's what I want to do with Scott. I wanted him to be like the FPS Russia of rednecks doing hunting videos, and him to basically use military hardware on game animals <laughs> and be able to advertise like <laughs> hunting products on that channel i thought that was a yeah. great idea but nonetheless scott's not much of an actor it, it turned out if you guys watch those gator show videos you'll see he is as stiff as a board and just know mm. that's 30 takes <laughs> i kind of want to interrupt uh, you like one more definitely time not an interruption at all I'm hypothetically if you guys were 20 years old and uncircumcised would you get the surgery or stay floppy not if it didn't cause a problem. All right. A 100. All right. If you're asking our personal opinions, I, I will always go back to this. There are no women that I'm aware of that have an issue with a circumcised penis. There are, however, women who have an issue with a circumcised penis. And therefore, I will bend to the will of the small chance that I'll ever be about to fuck a woman and she would say, ew, I don't like that. If there's a 1% chance that could happen, okay? And maybe, look, if you're the type then of guy who... it happens who, to Kyle maybe, four times a year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, <laughs> what I, and, and, like, think about it this way. Like, like, maybe you're not the kind of guy who gets a lot of opportunities like, like maybe like oh it's been i've been looking for a girl for six months finally i found one and she says no like are you gonna risk that like no i would absolutely 100 recommend it, uh get, getting circumcised because of everything i just said it's as simple no, as that that's... and yes it will hurt yes it will hurt it will hurt tremendously i have a friend who um performed one uh Bobby performed a, a circumcision i think on like an adult man oh and i thought you were gonna say himself he it was either that or he we knew someone who had had it done. He had like firsthand <laughs> information about the healing process. And apparently it's so the worst part is you wake up and you have like morning wood and then it stretches out that area where there is no skin on your penis. And it's very painful. Uh, don't, that's don't uh, really, that might cure the morning wood, too. Yeah, through no. agony. If you have somebody stick a, a, a thumbtack under your toenail, you also won't have an erection. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. <laughs> See, go. I'm thinking ahead. No, Kyle, well, you're, you're, so, I'm high, but I'm you're, fine. you're so wrong, Kyle. First of all, I'll say that willingly, for no reason, genitally mutilating yourself for the prospective opinion well, of a woman out there Well, let's address your first insult that you've delivered here. You said that I'm so wrong. What about what I said was wrong? Let, point out the, the part of my argument that was wrong. Yeah, yeah. The part where you said cut off part of your penis to appease a potential fictitious woman so in your yeah, that opinion is the most, that's that is that, the that's most thing that you, thing that you should cut off part of your penis wrong. for the pleasure 
That is, dude, that that is the most beta shit you've ever said in your life. Oh, so you, you do agree that pussy everything unless I said you cut is off the tip of your correct. penis. Cut off so the tip you do of your agree penis that everything you might not I get pussy. Is, Taylor, do you agree that everything I said is factually accurate? Have you ever been turned down or heard of anyone being turned down for You're being You're not going to answer size? that question, are you? You're going to treat act like one of those politicians. You're not going to answer it. Everything no, it, I said is factually I, accurate, isn't it? It is not factual. You it is a, dancing, it is a construction. You? If, you, if you want up. me to, Everybody how about you let me dancing. keep talking? You're gesturing how about now. You? No, what, what, what people are actually seeing is a functional retard trying to have a conversation with his friend, Kyle. And <laughs> <laughs> see, he slipped a joke in there. And <laughs> so basically, I'm saying that you are inventing a scenario in which this will happen. There could be a woman out there who would turn you down for being uncircumcised. If this guy does not have an issue with his dick skin, like if his dick skin is too tight and his dick isn't getting hard, obviously you need to get that taken care of. But if it's a purely aesthetic thing, don't willingly remove billions of nerve endings and make sex less pleasurable for yourself because of Kyle's made up scenario of a woman maybe someday oh, yeah, potentially turning you down. All right, so uh, I mean, that, that seems like more of a self-control thing for you than well, the see, average guy, but like, and, and and I love that your qualifying question was, have you ever have you ever heard of someone getting turned down? First of all, I, why would anyone ever admit that that happened? If you had an that answer, you would have said yes. You would have said yes, you floundering idiot. I know of women who have turned guys down, and 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 you're imagining. Oh, is that what we're doing? Is, we is that we doing? Lying hour. <laughs> <laughs> you're imagining forgive me you're imagining a scenario though where like a man and a woman get in a bedroom and she sees his dick and she turns him down i think that's rare because that would be like super that's what you said it's like man we got that's, it. that's that's but explicitly what, the scenario you laid out and now you're saying that it's so rare as to be infinitesimal let me explain okay what i'm talking about is a is a is a sneaky kind of way of, of letting the uh, the uncut man to the side. It's as soon as she sees a picture of his dick, maybe she 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 just that's when it stops. It, it, it's gonna stop when she see if she gets a picture of his dick on her phone. There's no way. There's no way that there's a, that five ten percent of women I would say turn. We need talk. All right, uncircumcised men, you're the ones to answer the question because we we are clearly talking about something we don't really know yeah, about. We're I the admit minority. That I cannot speak. I admit that I cannot speak to how, what, how high the percentage of, uh, of uh, women that just won't fuck a guy who's uncut is. I, but I can what definitely hell? say. You were an expert a few than... minutes ago. <laughs> so a few minutes ago, you had stats, pages, oh, I mean... <laughs> documents, charts. My PK God. Stats. Yeah. <laughs> Forgive me, It's Taylor, a cosmetic the, surgery. The issue you guys is are going on and on and on. Anything greater it's... than zero is a problem. If there is one vagina on the planet that will will not allow your uncut cock, then you should get that shit cut off, all right? If there was a group of women that just didn't Absolute fuck, cuckery. Like, like, where do you draw the line? Where do you draw the line? We're going to stop wearing the I draw it at cutting my too. dick skin off voluntarily go shit in for the woods. no reason. You go shit in the woods like a real gorilla man. Oh, oh, oh. I'm not that attached no. to my dick <laughs> skin. Like Tim Tim skin. Taylor, <laughs> it's the dick skin that's in need of cosmetic <laughs> surgery. That's the part you're talking about losing. It's like, I uh, will not have lipo. Yeah, you didn't want you, you, that you part guys of are you. Just, you guys are just Captain Cope on this of like, and well, there's you, you don't need all those extra this. nerve endings. Yeah, those there's... nerve endings would be fucking tight, dude. Those would be awesome. Oh, Feel really? Bad. Is nerve endings where the know, orgasm maybe... comes from? No. Yes. Nerve oh, yeah. Is... Literally, yes. Yeah, no, I can they're... never come fast <laughs> enough, no. Taylor. I wish I had more. I wish my cock was more sensitive so I could come just a little <laughs> bit faster. That would make my world so much better. No, no so so go in there and cut off your dick skin because of a flawed. You're an idiot. You've been made a fool. You've been found wanting, and I'll have no more of this. Let's let's Everyone let the audience decide. Let's let the audience let's decide because decide. willingly it's cutting off a piece of your penis for the for the for the opinion of a made up woman is the most beta <laughs> bitch shit I've ever heard of. Most beta bitch be. shit. Taylor, I I might be Cut getting cosmetic surgery because I like the way I look. That, that I want to like I what, what I see I, when I'm in the mirror. That's why I get circumcised. Keep your dick skin, brother. Stay strong. <laughs> Taylor, you only see half of my shirtless photos that I take. The other half <laughs> needs circumcision. <laughs> no, don't get rid of extra nerve endings, man. Enjoy yeah. enjoy additional pleasure. Like that seems like the obvious response. Maximizing pleasure. Yeah, enjoy wiping your yeah, enjoy wiping your cock, you weirdo. <laughs> wiping my cock? What are you talking about? Yeah. You know. You know, Fish takes uh, to the bathroom. He takes a bottle of water and some tissue to to like handle that that thing he's got down there. 
you said that that was not a, an uncircumcised thing. That was like an Arab thing, like that. I know fish said that, right? Yeah, I choose yeah. Kyle's version because it's funnier. Yeah, that is. Yeah, I, <laughs> <love that. laughs> I was I, I was trying to slip that. One. I was trying to slip that one in. <laughs> well, I wanted to be fair. I also, to fish. Like, um, yeah, yeah. It's it. I guess that's fair. Um, he said there no, was like I a code. There's like, a oh, if you ever of... see a, a bottle of Dawn and some napkins on, by the toilet, then, then you'll know what Arabic was there. Whatever the yes. fucking code. a bottle of water. <laughs> if, yeah, a bottle of water. Like, you ever a see a bottle of water Dasani in a bathroom? Yeah, yeah, sure. It was a bottle of water, so they could like wet their dick and like blot it dry. That is that is bizarre. And, it, and, and like I got to admit, like like. Bat is a clean penis. All right. If every time you piss, you're pouring water on the head of your dick and then blotting it dry, he's got the cleanest cock in town. Dude, do you want to hear about my Acro Toe Club drama? Yeah, what's up? So here's what's happening. The last time we went, which was like three or four weeks ago, um, a couple planes went by. And I think it was me because a nice plane got particularly close to me. I don't know what it is, twin engine Cessna or that one with the fucking parachute in it. But, but in any case, a plane gets particularly close to me as I'm on tow, right? So I'm like 2,000, 3,000 feet in the air and a plane goes nearby. They see me, maybe they see the line and they report us to the FAA. Now, the thing is, what we're doing is legal. It, it, mm -hmm. We're not breaking any rules. We, we know real, the real rules. quick before you can, Kyle, can you switch to audio only? See if that keeps you in longer. I think we might be good. I don't we'll think it's going to matter. I think if it breaks, it's going to break, honestly. Okay. Sorry to interrupt. Woody. Go ahead. So we get reported to the FAA, and one of our members is an airline pilot and just good at talking to the FAA. It's harder than you'd guess. And uh, he explains the rule. The FAA doesn't even know which like set of rules governs ultralights because they're really not focused on us. They don't want to deal with fucking people hanging in... in lawn chairs and hammocks and shit they want to deal with commercial airlines and mm -hmm. fedex and delta and shit like that so uh he teaches them the rules of ultralights they say ah, oh, we've confirmed that you're no not in any trouble at all and we think everything is cool but just to double check he makes sure that the army corps of engineers is okay with us launching <laughs> off of their beach and i'm like what why he calls in trouble yeah <laughs> So the Army Corps of Engineers were walking like 10 feet across their beach on launch. If we're really careful, maybe we can not touch it at all. We have permission from the landowner, the guy who lives on this little tiny peninsula. He owns, if you picture a triangle, he owns like the, the inner triangle. But the mm -hmm. very edge, the beach, is the Army Corps of Engineers. Sometimes we don't even touch the engineering land. Sometimes we just launch from his yard and he loves us. Um, sometimes, you know, maybe you run all the way to the beach before you get in the air. And now they're fussing at us. Now they worry that we have to get permission from them and they want us to get a million dollar insurance policy, which maybe we'll do and name them as co-insured. I'm a little, lame. I'm not an insurance this expert. This is so lame. I, I don't, I feel like it's, it's American land. I already own it. Why do I have to like, why are you making it so hard for me to use American land? And I'm not damaging it. I'm well, can I ask you this? Across it. Maybe I, I, I probably wasn't here for this part. What happens if you just keep going there and flying off? That was my idea. I was like, what is the fine? $250? I'll pay it every weekend. I hope it comes with a BJ. You know, like, I don't give a fuck about you. You know, like, it'll just be an exp a cost of doing business. But um, the club had a bigger a better concern i thought which was like oh if we do this knowingly in violation what happens if something goes wrong like someone gets hurt or you know then you could be like it's an illegal but it would only would... matter if that, that that would only come to play if you literally like crashed while taking off from the beach into someone and hurt them man that's an i, odd... I think Here's the scenario that I would imagine. Like everyone in the club is, club is so trusted, right? They're not going to sue me. Yeah. Uh, Put that to the test when we're talking about their next of kin, right? When some single mom loses her breadwinner and now she's not going to sue the rest of the club, hoping to make good on it. Like, so, uh, uh um, weird. yeah, yeah. Some sort yeah. of, and yeah, I see your point. What if, what if it's an activity that's not approved? So there's two ways this could go. We could either get approval from the Army Corps of Engineer, which would be nice. Or we could go to a different lake. The other lake is 20 minutes farther from me, but it's better. And the What's town nearby is better. 
I don't Lanier? recall, but it's in Tennessee. Oh. Yeah, so it's not very close to um, the Hartwell. But um, the lake, the lawn spot looks a little better. It's a little bigger. And I like that I think Knoxville is nearby. So that gives us like real facilities, perhaps a better hospital, you know, shit like that. I think the Army Corps of Engineers would just say, yeah. Like, like is they would only be concerned if you're going to be around their like dam and, and like, like like any of that infrastructure. Like like generally speaking, I don't think they give a shit about the beach. Like like boaters are I, doing crazy shit there all the time. They don't care. That's totally true. Like I, I feel like what we're doing to the Army Corps of Engineer is not any different than like water skiers or the when guys you ask permission, like, make boobs. it when you ask permission, make it set it's it's a boat thing, right? Like like you're yeah. Are you talking? You're talking about launching from his yard, or when you do the the boat stuff? The boat stuff, you know. Yeah. Oh well, then just word it to them like it's you know an advanced fucking. Uh, what do you what do you call those things you pull behind a boat that the the fucking uh, bullshit float? Whatever you yeah, call the those. Yeah, the tubes. The the toboggans, I think they might be called. Yeah, make it sound like advanced tubing. <laughs> like, <don't laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Fucking. Just be vague. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we, we just do what everyone else does. We sort of attach a line to the back of the boat and we tow ourselves around. It's a blast. <laughs> right? <laughs> he doesn't need to know that line is fucking 6,000 feet long. I, 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 I would bet money they'll say yes. Like, like That's I what people so. do on the I, lake. I feel like they'll say no just because what's their incentive for saying yes? Hey, can we have permission to do a thing? Eh, no. You know, I like, would say this exactly. I would say, hey, I've had these other this issue with these other guys, and they said I should have permission from you for some reason before I do it. We like to, you know, ride around on a boat, and we uh, we, we pull each other around on rafts, on cedars, and, and uh, sometimes we even throw a parachute on. And they thought maybe you'd have an issue with some of that stuff. I would admit that. I love. So it that. sounds like it sounds like ninety percent of the time we're out there on like, <laughs> keyboards. And then occasionally we get out a parachute. You know, we're wild. <laughs> <laughs> He's pictured us 15 feet in the air. Yeah. I would say that. I exactly. like that. We should have had you. We, but, we... Be honest, but don't give away anything you don't need to. Right, right. To be honest, we'll have to grab a tube. But but we can make that happen. Because <laughs> we never tow tube. You know what I was thinking? Um, and maybe it's just a stupid idea. Is there any way to combine the paramotor with a motorcycle? Because in my head, I was like... Obviously, if you were riding the bike and operating the whole thing, it would pull you off the bike and the bike would be left behind because right, right. you can't hold on to the bike tightly enough. But if there was some sort of apparatus to balance that bike underneath you, maybe you could use a dirt bike and make that your sole source of power and you could do little hops. Like, like you get <laughs> enough speed, you could get enough speed on your bike to like fly for a little while and get then a little it, altitude it'd land and then it would slow you down could, and you'd. Yeah. That, that. That sounds like a recipe for injury. <laughs> I think it sounds like the, the, the uh, a way to decapitate yourself or something. Oh, right? Well, this is just cheating. I, he's tethered to the ground. That's the lame part. He's yeah, untethered. Go somewhere. No, I wonder if that's so that you can park and like mount and dismount, or if it has no if, if they mm. haven't figured out the gyroscopic nonsense. Yeah, they de I, I guarantee that's so they get on and off. They, right. they got Quads headlights on so it already. Well. Yeah. I mean that that thing looks neat. I, I, I want to see a video. How high does it go? Dude, does have it you rely seen those on that ground effect? So sometimes I see technology, and I'm not sure if I'm being trolled by some guy who's good at like After Effects or something. And mm -hmm. like, right. I saw a video of some quote unquote firefighters in Dubai with jetpacks on, like the Rocketeer. And I was embarrassed to send it to anyone because I thought it was like that baby giraffe video that we sent to Wings. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, am, I was like, am I am I stupid and gullible for thinking that there are jetpack wearing firefighters in Dubai, or is that just the future? Like, like I don't know. Have yet. you seen the the jetpack wearing search and rescue people? Mm -hmm. That seems like, dangerous. I, I I go both ways because jetpacks don't take you very far, very long. Right, it's a trouble. On the other hand, someone broke a leg, like at the top of the ski slope. It would take a long time to hike up that slope or even to take the lift up. You know, if someone's not there, you can jetpack up a mountain in like 90 seconds. It is a quick way to do a small. Could you lift rescue. someone though? Like, I think the idea is they get provide there aid. your first aid. Oh. You know, you can bring your slings and your tourniquets and your morphine. 
that makes more yeah, sense. Yeah, you could. Uh, I've seen them talk about it a lot for saving people uh, on mountains, and mm-hmm. with as much like uh, mountaineering videos as I've watched lately, that's a thing that happens a lot. Although, God, it, you would think that most of the people who get into those situations are so fucking dumb. Like they make a massive mistake, <laughs> and that's why they're in the situation. A series of them. Yeah, yeah. Usually, that's not just one thing. It'd be. It, it wouldn't be so bad if you hadn't left your phone at home. But you also let your water expire or something, or like like the like the uh-huh. plastic got brittle, the and you got so lost, brittle that you and, can't. Right. <laughs> like one and thing after and another, you know, your phone was your GPS, and you don't have a paper map, and you this yeah. and you that, and you know you're, you're fucked in six ways, and you know because you were a little fatigued, you made a navigation mistake that you wouldn't have otherwise made. It. it, it uh, Cascading mistakes is a thing, and it, people lose their lot. They they lose their lives. They lose they lose their family members' lives. Like like I really like those stories because I I genuinely think that maybe I'm I'm learning something by watching them, and I'll be less likely mm-hmm. to get myself in a stupid scenario like that. You're you're roboting out right now, Kyle. But I I, I don't, I'm so, not some like an example <laughs> <laughs> i'm not a total first responder cocksucker like oh. and i mean that by like the guys who fillet them just for being first responders but mm-hmm. um i do like oh. them a little bit i am one of like mountaineering first responders are just a really i don't know like semi heroes foot of the gummy I bear. I want to go bite a foot right now. D- wait until like another hour and to the show and then do a foot. <laughs> I- I'm serious. Wait and then do it a foot. It takes so an people... hour to kick in though. That'll oh, be yeah, go, the yeah, show. Go eat a foot. Go, 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 go grab go it. Go grab it. Bring it back well, and eat a little. Be, be just great. one foot. This is good content. Let me, this is good oh, content. Because here's the thing. The spray coating is legit. It, like, like I've seen in products I buy before, you could see where it was like spark. It was like spritzed on there. You could see it. Mm-hmm. These things are yeah, legitimately 100 milligrams, and apparently I'd never experienced that before. They are so goddamn strong. <laughs> They're very. I've strong. worked so my tolerance up to three. <laughs> That's. I eat three if I want to get really up. Don't take three, anyone, please. Please, no one <laughs> take three. And I'm not joking. You're gonna have a rough day. De- you're gonna have a rough next 16 hours if you take fucking three of those. Yeah. But I'm Don't telling you. If you if you're someone with a tolerance to weed and, and stuff like this, you know what you're doing. I won't insult your intelligence. If you're someone who's like, I want to try this this new product, get a little nice buzz while I'm relaxing at night, just something gentle. Literally one foot off of the gummy bear. Not from the waist down, you maniac. Not both feet. Quarter out one foot. And that's genuine. And I say one foot because that's such a low dose that there's no way someone's gonna eat a foot and get too high. Like if anything, you're gonna eat it and be like, oh, that you know, this is less intense than I thought. Well, I mean, I'm a little look, less look, intimidated old, now. Right, here, here, that's the same same gummies. Yeah, yeah. That's just different packaging. All right. So so here's here's how to think of think of it. The thing's hundred milligrams, obviously. Like like you could easily put it on a, a kitchen scale and slice into ten slices and count. have ten milligram doses. And ten milligrams is a good starter dose. One tenth of that fucking bear is a starter dose. Definitely, you have to um, reach your thumbnail in and peel the the actual oh. secured part. It is childproof. Yeah, I was like, I work out all the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's easy now that I've had instructions. Okay, They're like Woody's all show. <laughs> <laughs> Those are all show muscles. He can't even get his, get his <laughs> legal weed gummies Should I out bite of off both feet. One foot. You're serious I, about one foot? I'm, I, I want me, people to see say, that like one foot's not I think scary. You should eat- here, I think you should eat both feet, but not from not the whole waist. There's a difference between yeah. the feet okay. and, and the Look whole waist. The do if both he had feet, a dick, you do not eat where his dick would be. Eat where his ankles would be. Well, I mean, go up to the thigh, but just don't go any higher. Okay, than that. I think that's fair. So that's All right. that's like a fifth of it, or a, a yeah. I, I would probably. roll with that. I think you're. I think let's roll with that. I mean, you, yeah. Okay. Let's well, stop now nibbling you're... on it. <laughs> Well, he did exactly what I told him not to do. So. <laughs> wait, wait, well, what he, did I do wrong? He, he enjoyed the flavor. Oh, you ate I told the, you. You ate where the dick would have been. It tastes like been. watermelon. It tastes like watermelon. No, this yeah, is the, really good. Dude, the birthday cake flavor rocks. It's great. Does I, it? No, okay. All right, so, yeah. oh, this so is strawberry I disagree jam. With, birthday cake's better. I disagree with all of that. I, I think the peach is the best uh, flavor by far. It is the one that, clo- that tastes the closest to actual candy, if you even care about that sort of thing. But I don't know how the stuff is priced on their site. But they send us this big boy box that's got like many, many uh, little 1,000 milligram packets in it. And then, like, yeah, like Taylor showed you before, the 2,500 milligram jar is, uh, is pretty legit. I don't know if they're going to 
do they have the other products up yet? Uh, I'll tell you guys about that after the show. Um, for this, just the gummies okay. for now. Okay. Yeah, cool. just the gummies for now. But yeah, they're very strong. Start if you don't have a tolerance, start with one foot so that you you feel you know because I've done that with edibles before where I take. Like, you know, you get high on in the minute and you're like, I'm going to get blasted. And you take a bunch and then five minutes later, you're like, oh, maybe I was too aggressive. And then you're kind of waiting for it to, to kick in too hard. It usually doesn't, though. You're like, oh, I got worried about nothing. But yeah, start slow. Start slow. You wouldn't start yeah, out a night so. of you wouldn't go to a friend's barbecue and drink half a fifth of vodka as soon as you got there. <laughs> that'd be that'd be an insane thing to do. And so, you know, start yeah. slow with the gummies. Very but, high quality. Um, I hope you guys like them. Yeah, I actually told my Uber driver about them today. He was he was like, "Really?" Nice. And they're just legal. I used to love edibles. <laughs> yeah, well, get ready to take off, motherfucker. Because <laughs> yeah. I was uh, I was taking edibles while I was moving, so I had this That's really steep terrible. driveway, and I walked up and down that steep driveway one thing at a time. I really wish I'd had a pedometer on. I would guesstimate fifteen miles, like like yesterday. Well why would you do that to I, I yourself would, getting high before moving? Oh, it's, it's easy. My, my feet were so swollen. I literally wanted something oh. for like, for, for that. Cause I was just, <laughs> I'd been on my feet eight hours a day for three hours in a row carrying stuff. Um, it's, it's, it's been an, it's been a goddamn ordeal. Like, like I'm my knee, my knees and, uh, like shins are black and blue from just sh bumping into shit. I kicked the same piece of gym equipment twice in the span of five minutes uh yesterday and i bad screamed luck. curses into the cul-de-sac it hurts so goddamn bad <laughs> but uh but i don't know why i put my, myself in that in into that uh position it was just procrastination and then had to go i, I just underestimated how much shit that i own <laughs> we got your back bud yeah everybody started fires as a kid that's normal right my Not aunt like oh my god person. zach my aunt burned down her house with her grandkids in it a little twice <laughs> <laughs> fool me once shame on me <laughs> <laughs> i'm starting to think she's not a good babysitter no no i that's not a try again thing if you're like mm -hmm. aunt or uncle burns down a house with four insurance in money <laughs> the story keeps going. <laughs> what the hell is going on with your family? <laughs> some of the stuff zach says my she God. got charged with arson, arson and fraud yeah good awesome gosh and fraud. <laughs> damn yeah no, so kyle. my my uncle was handy look at look at kyle's frozen face my uncle was handy and we had some plumbing work to do so what he did is he he was um soldering pipes you know the brass pipes you solder them, make them uh, watertight and he did, hadn't removed enough of the flammable stuff around it so the mm. insulation caught and the fire started running up like into the house and and he didn't want to burn our house down so he just grabbed the burning building material and started pulling it out and throwing it on the ground while like my mom and dad would take the insulation and put it in the kitchen sink and put it out and that was like the process he's just grabbing flames from inside the house throwing it on the floor and my, my parents put the flames out and he saved the house well, he almost burnt it down. Let's not make too big a hero out of him. But, <laughs> <laughs> he but undid it did turn his out error. okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He he resolved it. So it turned out all right. Yeah, I never started fires as a kid in dangerous places. Like it seemed like what Kyle said. Like if I like I'd do it out in the yard or on concrete, and it'd mostly be like little small scale, like fucking around with matches if I found them or like taking How a small, small. Like waist high. Oh, not not that big at all. Like oh. teeny tiny little fires. Like I was I was too nervous to start any like itty bitty. The, the worst I I melted I I melted a GI Joe that I, or a army man that I was holding in my hand above my other hand, and I got a bunch of molten plastic on it, and that that got me to not do that anymore. Because I was like, I, part of me was like, look at it melt. I was just so infatuated with seeing the the dripping mm -hmm. of it that I didn't notice. Dripping the, like, fire is a neat thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's very. Cool. I used to so I was a Boy Scout. I really, really, really like campfires. That's still true. I, I need, I, like, I have mm. campfire flavored candles around the house now. Like, I, I'm, I'm, I don't know. Maybe I'm like at the soul of an arsonist, but I really like campfires. And um, I would just so look forward to these weekends. Like once a month, our Boy Scouts would go camping, and it meant the world to me. Like I just loved it. And sometimes they get mm. canceled because of weather and shit. So it just, it wasn't enough. And then I realized, like, you know what, like. I'm really good at starting fires, which is still true. If you're at a campfire, 
you want you're the me. guy yeah <laughs> you want me you want me there like it, there are all these people who think they can start a fire and i'm, I'm looking at it and I'm like, i am the fucking fire starter that you are crab eater i i i just i'm like okay fucking imbeciles <laughs> yeah like <laughs> can't you That's see all your saying. mistakes don't you see that should be a chimney right there that should be a cabin right there like you should mm -hmm. get your shit together and um uh, and, and like, I'll look at a fire that's not burning well and just easily know like what adjustment to make to make that fire do what I want it to. And, uh, even you know, by the time I was like 12, I was good at this. So after school, I would just be like, you know, starting fires is free. <laughs> I can just <laughs> do this. I can do this like as a hobby after school. And mom, if you're watching, it was by that recycling center in the woods. And uh, uh, yeah, we I would just go and start fires. Sometimes people would come with me. Sometimes I'd be solo, just out there burning shit, collecting wood, and making campfires. <laughs> I liked it. Just creating potential problems. But it seems like you had a good run. No, no cataclysmic problems. You had to pretend you didn't do. <laughs> Not that one. I've told the story so many times of the field we burnt down. That was the we were playing war. Someone else started the fire. Told me to put it out. My dumb ass is just like I'm not putting it out. It's warm. And uh, <laughs> then it got out of control quickly. <laughs> it's too warm. It's too warm. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then, dude, that fire, it was like five acres and like 150 feet tall. And like houses were in danger. Oh, 150 like, feet tall? Oh, yeah. It was like twice the height of the trees nearby. <laughs> and shit. Like, it, it wasn't just that like our town's fire department came. Then like the adjacent towns and the adjacent towns to that. It was like a five alarm, four or five alarm fire. It was a really big deal. <laughs> How did you, so you didn't, did you get in trouble for it? No, the guy who started the fire took all the blame and it wasn't just the police. It was the FBI him. came and investigated it. And he was like, well, the smoke bomb wouldn't start with the match. So I lit the four foot tall gr dry grass on a windy day and then, <laughs> held this, then held the smoke bomb up to it. And then I threw it and I told my friend to put it out, but or maybe he didn't even rat me out. He said he wouldn't. And, uh, you know, <laughs> and then, then it got out of control. So they just put him on David Devorn. I'll never forget that guy. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, he fell on the sword, took all the blame. He did start the fight. What a hero. Yeah. It's and cool of him to take the rap. It was. Yeah. He didn't try to pass off responsibility or anything, but it was funny how like, Every idea I had to put out the fire was just a few seconds late. Like at first I pat it with my hands, but if I had stomped on it, it might have been controllable at that size. Mm -hmm. Then I stomped on it, but it was too big to put out with your feet. So I took my coat off and hit it. If I had done that a step mm -hmm. earlier, that might have worked. And then like multiple people started beating it with their coats. And if we had been doing that 20 seconds ago, that might have worked. But everything, mm -hmm. every idea we came up with was just a step too late. And eventually it was like, we need grown ups here. Someone get grown ups. Someone get grown ups. Oh, get an adult. Like, <laughs> that's, that's still my go to move. When you when you saw the fire totally getting out of control, were you nervous? Like about I was your nervous. Parents? It was slowing toward so mostly like the, there was woods between the houses and the field. And mm -hmm. I felt like that was going to be a buffer layer, at least a slower burning fire that they'd be able to deal with. But at the end of the fields where the fire was blowing to was where my friend lived. And I was like, mm -hmm. fuck, and we burnt down Jason's house. Like, I was just <laughs> I'm like, it's going to Jason. And Jason's like, yo, that's my house. It's going to my house. And I'm like, yeah, it, it totally is. You're right. It's going to your house. And like, sorry, the, Jason. The fire departments was just putting water on Jason's house so that it was a little more fire resistant when it got there. And mm -hmm. uh, as far as I know, his house was fine. I don't maybe it, like a heat damage or something, but um, it, you know, it certainly didn't burn it down or anything like that. So. I, have you seen those clips where like there's a big field fire and like the farmer gets out like in front of the flames with his like combine and he just like cuts all the grass out in yes. a stripe. So, I think that's so cool. And sometimes they're like, I'm like, man, that guy's doing a good job really like threading that needle. And other times they're, they're like 20 feet from the flames. And like what I do is I watch like where he is or like where he was and like where the flames are. And it's like, oh, like I I'm like I as a kid, I was like, oh, like you know, that's how fire works. If it's not on you, you're fine. But like you realize like, no, like you're a big fire will like cook you like a like a grill from from yard like 100 yards distance. away. Thank you.